Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Yosha and I'm your go-to girl for all things real. This is a little different for my channel. If you've been around, you know I do reviews, lifestyle, and real talk. I also give advice, but I decided to bring this to my channel because lately I've been finding some pretty good deals on Macy's website and it's safe to say that I'm going to be shopping there a little more than I used to. So why not bring that content to YouTube so that if you also shop there and you have similar style or interest, then you can see if it's worth purchasing before you spend your money. I love cheetah print, leopard print. Back in college, I used to say leopard print was my favorite color. I have toned it down quite a bit since then, but I wanted to let y'all know that I still like it enough to where I have like leopard blankets, I have a leopard clutch, I have leopard tops, cardigans, but I'd never really gotten a really cute purse. And around Christmas time, they had this really cute limited edition set on Macy's.com that included a uh, crossbody bag, a tailored tote, and they also had this other like rectangle shaped one. So I decided to choose the tailor tote and the crossbody bag as a way to treat myself and the sale was really good. So these purses actually retail for over $200 when they are not on sale, but I was actually able to get them for under $150 for both. So I believe the tailor tote was $135 and the uh, crossbody bag was $110. So I've been using the crossbody bags. I'm going to show you that one. The tailored tote I've been kind of keeping in the closet in its duster bag. And I recently ordered the wristlet that goes with it because Macy's marked it down. It was under 40 bucks, y'all. So I was like, okay, I got the matching wristlet, the purse, and a tailored tote for when I'm like traveling or something. You can't beat that. So without further ado, I'm going to show you all three and y'all can let me know what you think. Um, I wouldn't call this a dupes haul because this is a legit coach experience. So first I am showing you all the crossbody bag. This is what it looks like. It has a pocket in the front. On this side, it has a zipper and it's it's across like this. It gives you a pretty deep pocket. Um, it has gold detailing. It has the little black coach emblem. Let me do that. You'll see that I actually have like all my stuff inside because I've been using this one lately. But this is actually, fun fact, this is a Coach wallet that I thrifted. It was $11, and I've been carrying it for years. For the sake of this video, I'm gonna go ahead and pull out some of the other stuff that I had in here, just so I could show you all like what it looks like on the inside. So, on the inside, you could just see that it has the Coach emblem right in here. And then on the inside of the purse, there are no zippers. There's no like zipped pockets. There are no like organization type things. On this side of the bag, there is a deep pocket um, and you could put like a maxi pad inside of that. Um, that's how deep it is. So I actually had two maxi pads inside of mine and then I just dump everything else in the bottom of the bag. This bag, honestly, is one that you would purchase for the pattern. Any of their purses that have a cool pattern on it, whether it be flowers, whether it be plaid, they had this really cute, like, red plaid one that would have been really good with Christmas and stuff. Anything that you see that's like that, I think that the construction of the purse is going to be pretty basic. And I say that because you're really getting it because of the pattern. You're not getting it for the quality. It's not going to be like your $400 coach bag. And I think that that's why when marked down on sale, they could mark it down like 50% off and sell it for $100. Because everybody knows that coach is kind of pricey. So that's just a quick little overview of this particular purse. My cons are that the strap 
on it is a little bit on the thinner side and it makes me wonder about longevity over time i just try to be really careful with it and not put too much stuff in it to where it weighs it down like me I get receipts every week because I go grocery shopping and I run errands for the house. And if I'm not careful, my receipts will build up in the bag and it'll weigh down a purse. So with this particular bag, I like to take the step of clearing out my purse on a weekly basis, just making sure that I don't have any extra receipts and things like that. Now, the tailored tote, I haven't been using at all. Like I said, this is one I'd probably travel with. I don't think that this is one that I'll be rocking regularly. Um, it's constructed with a zipper on the front. What I loved about the zipper, y'all, I'm gonna try to zoom in so y'all can see. It has this locking mechanism on it to where when you close it, it stays in place. And you know, sometimes your zippers can get caught on things, but because it has this little twist and lock feature right here, like I'm blocking it while I'm doing it, but you twist it, and when you put that on, it prevents your um, purse from moving around. So you have that, and there's a zipper on the front. Um, this also has that same gold accents and detailing. These are the straps. Now, I will say this one, the straps are still kind of on the thin side, but they're a little bit more sturdy and thicker than the previous purse. This is also a tote, though. Like, you wear this... Um, I would say traveling, you could put a bunch of stuff in it as a carry-on or a purse. And when you open it up, I actually put the Coach um, duster bags that Macy's included. So this big one, this is the one that they included. These are the care instructions. Like I said, I haven't worn this one yet, so I just kind of kept everything. Um, I had the price tags, but I forgot what I did with it. And the inside of it has no organization. I just want y'all to know, no organization. But this bag does have a zipper. I'm holding it up so y'all can see. There's a zipper and it has black and gold. Um, the Coach logo emblem is in the inside of it. And then on the other side, it is two deep black pockets. So similar to the one that I just showed you, but it's two instead of one. So that's how the tote is constructed. Overall, I think if you can catch a coach bag with a pattern of your choice on sale, I would definitely recommend it. But just know that it's probably not going to give you the same quality. Even if it's a leather bag, these are leather bags. I think they're the pebbled leather it still may not be up to par to what you're used to if you typically purchase like the $300 bags. I noticed that Macy's puts the higher end bags on sale, but they never go under $200. So I think that there's a difference in the quality there. So I'll have to save up for that one. And when I do, I will make a video and I'll let y'all know if there is a difference in the quality, but I'm pretty sure that there is. I do want to show you all the... Uh, wallet the wristlet that I just ordered because it goes with this and I'm gonna go ahead and um Well, it's not really unbox because it came in a little plastic bag, but I'm gonna open it for you guys so y'all can see And I literally ordered it last week and it came today Macy's has some pretty fast shipping That's one thing I will commend them on Let's see they put like a Hello Fresh coupon in my package. This is my receipt, and this is the Coach Leopard Print wristlet. I paid thirty nine dollars for it, and with tax, it was forty one seventy three. When looking on their website, I did notice that this retails at about sixty five dollars. This is how it came packaged, and this is how it looks on the back. Um, you can see that coach tag. So this is what it looks like. Love, love, love the size. It's bigger than the one I just showed you. Very cute. If you're a leopard print lover, I recommend. <laughs> now inside of it, it just has some papers. It has your care instructions. And inside of it, it just has like a little tiny pocket that carried the care instructions. 
It's actually two of those. So, I mean, I guess this would be good for use for your phone. Um, if you have pretty much any phone, a plus, a pro, it should fit in here, but there's no organization. So again, you're getting this type of wallet. It's most likely for the design, not for you to have something that you can organize your stuff with. Now I'm gonna slide this out just so y'all can see. You could use this kind of like as a clutch vibe if you wanted to. Going out, if it matched your outfit, you wanted to wear this. You could definitely do that and it would be cute. But it's really up to you. I could see it going well inside of this. Like it looks good with this. It's almost camouflaging with it because they're the same. But it's a good match for this because there's no organization inside the tote. So like you could use this for your cards. You could use this for your ID. You could use it for like gift cards or anything that you have that's small that could get lost or chipped easily. Pair it with this. Or you could even use it with this and it would work as well because again, there are no organization inside of these bags. So having these little wristlets will be helpful to keep stuff organized so you're not losing everything. But overall, I'm happy with my purchase. Um, like I said, I gave it great ratings because I got a good price. I love leopard print and I just felt like it was a good deal. But if you're looking for like high quality organization, etc., then these may not be the bags for you. And that's okay. You just have to kind of know what you're looking for. For me, I was looking for style and, you know, just something that fit my personality. So, yeah, you all, this is the end of this video. Let me know which of the three of these coach items was your favorite. Let me know if you would like to see more Macy's Finds videos from me. And subscribe to my channel. I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye.